Hi all, once a future gamer and welcome back to this play for Resident Evil Code Veronica X. So, last time we carried on on Rockfort Island with Mr. Chris Redfield. And we did quite a few things. We carried on with the training facility. The main thing that we got, the absolute mega main thing, was... We got the three proofs that we need to uh, advance on that's open up some sort of secret waterway. So, I believe we're going to carry on with that today. So, let's drop them off at time B. I'm going to take a heal as well. Mix those herbs. And we head back upstairs to the training facility. Because we've got stuff to do. Oh man, we've got a mega, mega long way around to go to where we've got to need to be now, so <laughs> that's no fun at all. Actually, no, not too bad, actually. Not too bad now, I think of it. Oh, nuts! <laughs> Bear with me a sec. Okay, let's try this again. I've got a uh, blue herb mixed in because I think those hunters can poison you. Okay, let's do this. I know they hear this. Well, nuts. I hate these monsters so much. I mean, it's not even funny, these things. You can tell the hunters are showing because this is the point where I start getting killed a lot. Ooh, hopefully I never have to come out there again. Might have been a waste of a heal, but I don't think so. I stand by the fact that it's not a waste of a heal. Hopefully no more hunters in this section. Hopefully. Because if I go back around the long way here, I'll lose the shotgun. And I don't really want to lose the shotgun. I'm going to need this bad boy going forward. Go up to floor one. one. One F. We're going to the room with the model. That little uh, drone thing out thing's not here, so that's a good, that's a good thing. So we'll put the proofs in. Now we can pull that lever. 
some kind of lever. Oh, there's a herb back there, which is nice. There's some shotgun shells as well. Is that everything? Oh, no more shotgun shells. You do spoil me. Climb down the ladder. Might as well. We've been everywhere else that we can be. This is literally the last port of call. We've got a heartbeat, so it's expecting something down here. This is the unknown. Oh, no. Get off me! Oh, shh! That's a waste of... Get off! Run straight into that. Grenades. Gotta remember that's there when I get back up. Bloody spiders. I hate those things so much. I'm more annoyed at wasting that bowgun arrow to pick that herb up, Chris. So we'll make we'll make a double green. We'll make a blue and a green. Should have brought a grenade launcher. Should have brought the grenade launcher with me. There we go, that's what we need. But it's not gonna be as easy as walk over and pick it up, I'm sure. So you remember that thing from episode 4? Handgun bullets. Have I got space for these? I have. Is there anything else around in this area that I can take? Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure how good of a weapon this is actually going to be against it, but we'll find out. Come on. Come on. Nah, it's not going to be a good weapon at all. To get above it and then drop an arrow, drop explosive arrows on it. Ooh, that yeah, that hit it. So yeah, it said it could. They the file I read on that thing said that it could grow to within full size in ten hours. And I guess that's how long it's been since uh, since Claire let it out. That's it, because I saw it react. I'm not going into the water with it, because I'll probably get killed. <laughs> I wonder if it's swimming faster, because it's in its death throes.
Did that hit it? I think I might have missed it. Yeah, that's why I'm not getting in the pool. I'm not sure this is doing any good, you know, to be honest. That, yeah, that's it, eh? moving slower. Now it's speeding up again. Come on. That's it, it. Come on, a little closer. That's it, that's done it. Is it? Then it's death throws now. Where's this shield? Oh, there it is. Eagle plate. So now can get out of here just be careful up here because there's still a spider knocking about get off me you damn dirty arachnid here up to floor up to the second floor up in the lift up to the second floor down in the stair lift and uh, down in the power lift even cargo lift whatever it's called down that lift outside go into the save room get the chemical Down we go. I think 
thinking about earlier, going back to where we fought the goat worm and uh, down there, that was probably the faster save room than going out to... I hope there's no... Um... I feel like that. I'm surprised that maybe I missed something somewhere. Maybe I did. It's not relevant anyway. No. So, let's just have a quick sort around. Don't need that at the moment. I've currently got my grenade launcher. So. that. Actually, give me a double green and I'll heal. Make sure I'm up to full. So, combine that. We've got the halberd. It's an object that's been placed on the eagle plate. It's made of gold and looks like a middle-aged halberd. Um, shall I save here? Yeah, I think I will actually. Use an ink ribbon. I will use an ink ribbon. Thank you very much. We're done with Rockfort. Let's get the F out of here. So, using this as Alfred did. I mean, there's no need to use it now. Sorry, I'll step an inch to the left and uh, do that. You bloody pedantic game. If you remember the cutscene earlier, there's another jet in here. And we uh, said so Chris used to be in the Air Force, he knows how to fly. I'll see. Chris used to be in the Air Force. I don't think he ever actually confirmed if you were a pilot or not. It might work in the mess hall for all we know. Probably not, but... So Chris arrives in a different area that Claire did because they don't they don't arrive via the wall. Yeah, we're in the Antarctic base now. We're in the last, uh, the last knockings of the game. So if we look at the map, is that a door there? That's a door there. Where does this go? Emergency evacuation elevator. So it's a Resident Evil game. We're prob somebody's probably going to use that at some point. Once we go through here. 
I think you'll find we're in a very familiar area. Oh! I'm not entirely sure this is the best use of my ammo, you know. Right. I'm gonna do this, I should really bring the pistol, because this seems that seems the sort of best ammunition for the job. It's probably gonna get to the point where I'm not gonna eat you not the submachine guns are not gonna be worth keeping around anyway, so I just want to go get some different weapons. Now, we'll, we'll head into here and just have a look, see at what's going on. I'm going to go need to get something out anyway soon, but that's... So, obviously, all this area is frozen over now. There's a body under there. You can, might be able to see there's something else under the ice there. A big... Big effing spider. Actually, I'm gonna go. Uh... Actually, I'm just gonna head in here because there's some shotgun ammo in here, and I'm just gonna see if the uh, thing will bust out of cage yet. Oh Christ, it did at all. This is this has already gone to. <laughs> this has already gone terribly. Did that take both for him out? No, it did not. <laughs> Actually, I think it might have done. It did. Is there a looming case? Shotgun shells? Is that everything out there? I think it is. We'll leave that zombie be for the time being because I don't think we need anything else out of here. But we are going to go downstairs for the moment and go revisit that moth corridor. Because I need to get something out. I really hope there's no more moths in this area. I might drop the submachine guns off, take the pistol and the grenade. Doesn't appear to be any at, the t at this point, so that's a good thing, I guess. Maybe the cold killed them off, hopefully. Oh. I've still got the halberd, by the way, you might have noticed, but... That gives me something. Paperweight. File. Alfred's Diary. January 30th. There's a sealed room in the hallway located inside of the Antarctic facility. I don't know what is hidden there, but I do know how to get in. I can use it, the three jewels that each one of our three family members wear as proof of being a legitimate descendant of the Ashford family. The only problem is I do not know how I can gain possession of my father's proof. February 17th. I finally succeeded in entering that sealed room. I could never have imagined that such an insane secret existed regarding the birth of both Alexia and myself. I hate my father, that fool Alexander. Now it is obvious that we were merely created in an attempt to cover my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the Ashford family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of as long as Alexia is with me. March 3rd. Alexia carried out the experiment on the human body that we've been talking about. Our useless father must be happy now, since he can finally contribute to the Ashford family. The only thing we should be careful about is that the butler, Harmon, does not become wise to our activities. 
April 22nd, the experiment resulted in failure. Our father was useless after all. Even worse, he turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. We tied him down and locked him up in an underground prison cell. However, Alexia seems to be close to a solution. Beyond all my expectations, she now says she wishes to conduct the experiment on her own body. On top of that, she feels she must be kept asleep for 15 years in order to accomplish the experiment. Thanks to that idiot, I can't see my dear Alexia for as long as 15 years. Alexia is going to sleep with all of her trust relying upon me. Now, I am the only one who can protect Alexia. You friggin' nutcase, Alfred. <laughs> Anything else I should really be I could really do with Tate. I might take the grenade launcher. I'm gonna take that as well. Got any green herbs? I've not got the halberd anymore. Oh, I don't need the Duralanium case. I definitely don't want the Duralanium case in my inventory. Because I don't believe we I don't believe we've got the capability capability to open it. I think it's got a simple lock on it. So we need to leave that in there so Claire can do it if uh, we ever find her again. Paperweight, AA, crown. A tool used to hold documents so they don't scatter. That's a biohazard symbol, that's a crown, that's a heart, that's an umbrella, an AA. I might as well keep it with me for the time being, because there's probably something relevant in there. Now, there's no point going down to the left in this corridor, because that room's frozen over instead. We're going to head back to where we were before. We're going to head over in that direction. I brought the handgun with me to shoot any of those tentacles that uh, stuck out at wall. This will probably be the last... That Those two up there we've just walked past, those will probably be the last two tentacles. Watch. I'll have done it for nothing. Mind you, there'll be some zombies knocking around somewhere. What's this area here? A control panel for the crane. To operate the crane, I need the crane key. Just in case there's any zombos about, we'll put some 9mm bullets in the reds. Uh oh. He's here as well. What? He's here? So, where's this cor what's in this corridor? We've got two rooms. We've got one immediately to the right, to Chris's left. We've got another one at the end, so we're just going to see if there's anything in here worth... Uh... Yeah, in oh, we've got a uh, little uh, drone thing up there. Where's this go? I'm not, uh, I'm not ready for there yet. 
I'm not ready for poison hunters yet. I'm gonna have to go down there at some point, but I want to see what that other room is first. Oof. There's nothing strange. There is something in there, though. There's a small square hollow. There's a notice. You can drain the water under following conditions to clean the tank to exchange the water. It appears to be some kind of control panel. So, so we're going to need a valve handle. get on this lift and this should take us back down into the armory there are lots of chemicals here it's tightly shut hang on let me just yeah there's something I'm missing here just bear with me a moment let me think Nothing strange. There's a switch. Push the switch. Ah. Extinguisher. It's an extinguisher. It should be used with a fire extinguisher. Now you know why we still got that even after all this time. Because... It's no longer an empty extinguisher. It's now got stuff inside it. So basically, that's how we put the fire out. Yep, don't walk into the fire, Chris. You can't punch the fire. It's not a boulder. Right, so, the purpose of that was... Magnum. But you might remember from when we came through here as Claire... There's a heat sensitive explosive. Now we've got the light. Oh, hang on. However, now. That zombie will come to life. Handgun bullets. A little unnecessary, maybe. So, probably not worth it, but... The main goodie. The main goodie in here that we got was, of course, Le Magnum. Which is French for Magnum. We're going to have to come back into this room that we're going into now at some point with a valve handle. Get myself the grenade launcher out because uh, we might have to fight a hunter outside or two. Actually, probably just one out now I think about it. Through there. Nicely done. Now, remember, there's one down here. There's a poison one down here, which is not particularly good. I'd love to know which asshat developer decided. Poison Hunters. Brilliant idea. Can we go through here? You can see I'm desperate to avoid fighting these hunters, can't you? So... We've got zombies, so I might as well put I might as well put these things down. 
Ooh, we've got quite a few of them, but... And they tried to put shotgun shells into a pistol then. That wouldn't have gone right, right well. If I face zombies, then uh, hunters. bullets in a sack I can sell. Any of these green? That's a green, I'll take that. That's a green, I'll take that. Combine these together. You think having four guns on me is unnecessary? Might as well take this blue, because it's obviously giving me it for a reason. It hasn't been used for quite a long time. It's locked. This should open if power were to be supplied, so we need to turn on the power. Is this the power room? I think this might be the power room, you know. It says danger high voltage on the... Uh, Got some handgun ammo on the desk there. This electricity connecting devices. Oh, man, we need the. Yeah. Oh, we've got an item box in here. Nice. Pink ribbon. So, let's have a look. Put the magnum down for the time being. I might put the shotgun down for the time being as well and take some grenade rounds instead. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, I think we might call it a session here. We've gone for. We've had a, bit, we've had a good run. We got killed a couple of minutes in. That wasn't particularly good, but uh, live and learn. So, save up. And we'll call it. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of thing. That way you'll get a nice little uh, alert when the next one shows up. Nice notification. Um, yeah, this is, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing it. Join me again next time for more of this uh, playthrough of Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Um, this has been episode 11. This has been Once and Future Gamer. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care now, have a great day, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.